I'm afraid of Seth. When Seth is very, very angry, he becomes explosive. One time, my grandson was sitting on the piano and I asked him to get off. Seth goes, leave your hands off my son. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? And Seth can be verbally abusive to the children. My granddaughter had spilled some milk and he called her a little She is six. My grandson has called me in a panic crying that his dad is in a rage. I do not feel safe around Seth. He said a number of times, I know how to break a person's neck. If you really did care about the kids, you wouldn't threaten to kick the kids out every other week. You don't even let them sleep on a bed. You make them sleep on a couch. To try to support my daughter has been very, very difficult. I would like Jen to see that they are not good together. I don't want to see my kids get abused. I take care of your children. I love your children. I have given them 17 years of my life, and all I get is kicked and shoved and told I'm a terrible person. Jen and the children are currently living in my home. Every time Seth goes crazy, I'm the one that has to hold everything together. I can't do it anymore. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you for being here. Thank you. When you say you're done, what does that mean? Uh, I'm done dealing with their relationship as far as trying to support them. And my fiance said, I, I, can't, I can't be here. We need our life together to start. Mm -hmm. And that's where it's just, I'm just so worn down from it all. Mm -hmm. So you're engaged? I am engaged, yes. Congratulations. When Thank are you going to get married? Um, my, my fiance <laughs> said he will not marry me until Jen and the kids move out because he wants us to be together, just us. And so we don't have a, a real date because she doesn't have a date that she thinks she's going to be able to move out mm -hmm. with the kids. So he has some common sense. Yes, he does. Very smart man. Yeah. Do you think she sometimes provokes him? There's been a number of times when um, she'll be uh, very upset on the phone, uh, really uh, yelling at him. But at the same time, Seth is a bully. Seth has been up in my face. No matter what I do to help this family, he's charging at me like I'm, I'm ruining his life. And, and, it's, her fault. and it, yeah, it's all it's my fault. fault. And or I'm going, fault. I'm taking care of your children. I'm stepping up when I know the two of you have difficulty stepping it up and taking care of your children. There was a point in this family chaos that a shotgun was involved. Jen and, and Seth got in a big argument. All of a sudden, Seth came and he started banging at the door right here. I was coming up to the door. Banging on the door. He just kept saying, let me in. He was just like in a rage. My cousin was living with us and he had grabbed his shotgun. He was fighting with my cousin and Seth took it. He put it up like this and said, you want to end me? You want to do this? Then do it. Rage went into me. I basically wanted to take him out. Everybody thought I was extremely crazy, so they ran, hid, called cops. It was the scariest night ever. I thought for sure that we are not going to make it through the night. I came home from work. Right. You and were then already you guys drunk. All went berserk and then you left. Yeah, me, that's how I yeah, feel, Dr. Phil. Go. Every day that I have to deal so with this nonsense. That was so long ago. It was so stupid. And, yeah, and well, I'm just bringing it up because it's just, it was a long time ago, which means this long. has been going on a long, long time. time.